Hey, hey, y'all. It's your girl, Shay. Welcome back ah, 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 to my channel. How y'all doing? I hope y'all are doing amazing. All right, y'all. Let's get right into it. Welcome all my day ones. Welcome all of my new subscribers. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me and I am so grateful. Thank you for um, your views, your comments, all of that stuff, your energy, all of that. Thank you for all of that. Okay. All right, y'all. We are going to get into some habits today. Daily habits that changed my life and probably will change yours too. So you already know what to do. Put me on pause. Go get your favorite drink. Go get your favorite snack. Get in your comfy spot because I'm going to take my time today. All right, y'all. Let's start off with number one. Let's go. Start each day off with gratitude. Some type of scripture. I read. I have the Bible app. I read scripture every morning in the Bible app. They read it to me. Um, and then they have a prayer for you for that day. And then I do my own prayer. I have my own praise and worship prior to me leaving the house. So important. So important. Between me and that scripture, that's going to keep me. Okay? That's going to keep my mind. And if y'all like me, it's going to keep your mind too, okay? So it, it keeps my mind, okay? It, it, it makes sure you don't say nothing you ain't supposed to say. You don't get out of pocket on nobody because these people out here are reckless, okay? These people out here are reckless, all right? So that's number one. Number two, grooming myself, self-care. I carve out a self-care thing for myself every day. So, you know, on Sundays and Wednesdays, I do my face masks um, and my whole like nighttime skin skincare routine. But I, I have a, a act of self-care daily and it varies from day to day. And as you start to do it, as you start to really get in tune with yourself to know what it is that you need to be able to function the best way possible, that's where you want to park. You know what I mean? So sometimes it's coming straight home and like I was watching Dharma. And it was kind of therapy. I mean, as a clinician, I find it very interesting, right? So it was kind of therapeutic for me. Like I'm coming home from a stressful day. So y'all keep playing with my head because I'm trying to figure out what, you know. Anywho. Um, It's, you know, I would come home from work and I would say, okay, let me, let me get my little snack. Let me watch Dharma. Get into somebody else's mind. Get into something else besides what's going on in my reality, right? So I would do that. That was, that was an act of self-care. So it varies on day-to-day -day what you may do, but do an act of self-care daily. Do an act of self-care daily and groom yourself. Keep yourself looking decent. You know what I'm saying? Because don't nobody, shouldn't nobody be able to look at you and be like, oh, she done been through it. No, keep them folk out your business. Groom yourself, take care of yourself well, okay? Number three. <laughs> this is going to sound so practical, but it's so important, okay? And that is opening my mail daily. Going through the mail, going to the mailbox, taking the mail out, sorting the mail. What's the junk? What's the stuff I need to open immediately? You know, all that stuff, throw away the junk, recycle the whatever, you know, news news things. They, I don't know what they call. Junk mail. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It is very important to stay on top of your business. Opening your mail daily is staying on top of your business. Now, where your girl need to work and where I know I need improvement, that is checking my email daily, my personal email daily. I check my work email several times a day, of course. But that personal, checking that personal email daily, okay? just to stay on top of things. And I have missed sales. I have missed opportunities because I have not checked that email daily. And it keeps your mind decluttered, right? You know what bills you need to pay. You know what needs to happen. You know what you, you know what your deadlines are. That's keeping yourself together. That's going to change your life. Number four, 
I have alone and creative time and it looks different. Um, I play in makeup. I play in clothes like a child. <laughs> like a child. Like a toddler. Not a toddler. Like an adolescent. Okay. I play in my closet. I shop my closet. Um, it's nothing that I have. I'm not the type of girl buy stuff and got tags on it. I wear my clothes and I wear them several times and I reinvent my clothes. I reinvent my pieces. Okay. And that's what I like to do. And that's therapeutic for me. Cause y'all know I was supposed to be a fashion buyer for a high end boutique. Y'all know this in my other life, right? <laughs> so if you haven't watched what video did I talk about that? My mother said, you better find something else, girl. Cause that's what I wanted to do. But with all that being said, it's it's therapeutic for me. I like it. It it, it um, represents my creative side, right? So whatever that is for you, if it's drawing, if it's writing, if whatever that is, tap into your creative side because that's where you'll find a little bit of peace and you'll start to get centered with yourself. Okay, let's move on. Number five, I stand by this. I could be dead, tired, exhausted. It could be three, four in the morning. I don't care. I take a shower before I hit that bed. On a good day, I take a bath. On a real like self-care night, I take a bath, do my face mask, have my face mask on while I'm in the tub. Let me tell you something. I get my behind clean for my behind getting my clean sheets in my bed. Okay. That's another one. I'm going to add this one in. This wasn't number five, but I'm going to make it number five. Make your bed daily. Make your bed daily. People study have, Studies have shown people who make their bed daily are more successful. They, they um, accomplish more goals. It's something about that discipline and making your bed daily. All right, number six. Um... When I say number five, number six, I don't know what number I'm on. I think I'm on number seven. I think I messed up on it. Let me tell you, unwind and tea time. When I tell you that is my favorite time of the day, unwind and tea time. I have tea at either between 8 and 9 p.m. every night. I'm in my bed. I'm comfy. I'm watching um, Love and Hip Hop or something of that nature. Okay? Yeah, that's what I watch. No judgment. Um, and I also, I drink green tea, mint tea, ginger, white peach, all of that. I love all those like organic teas. And then I journal as well. That's relaxing. That's that unwind. That's getting all that stuff out. Don't hold that stuff in. If you feel like you can't vent to someone and it's going to, you know, get back. Cause a lot of people like to carry bones. Y'all there's grown folk. Can we take a pause for grown folk carrying bones? Yo, you too old to be a tattletale. You too old to be a bone collector and a bone carrier. It's a lot of them out there. So if you feel like you can't, you can't trust anyone, journal. Journal. Get it out. Get it out of your system. Get it out of your system. Okay. Um, number, I don't know what number this is. Because I think this is number eight now. Cook. Cook for yourself. Cooking for yourself is so important because it shows yourself that you care enough to make sure that you're nourished. Okay? It ain't always got to be the healthiest meal possible. But, I mean, it would help if it was. You know, your girl working on that too. I mean, we in it together. Okay? But you have to know that cooking is a part of caring for yourself. They put so much stuff out here, not on, in, the, in these foods and these chemicals. Not only that. Honestly, this food is trash and it's expensive is I don't know why. Like how you charge the fact that McDonald's is charging like the prices that they charge for the type of food that they're serving us. Or y'all, because I don't eat McDonald's. I try not to. If I eat McDonald's, it is a hard day. Something catastrophic has happened and I can't make it nowhere else. But you understand what I'm saying, right? So, yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <coughs> Cook for yourself. There's so many YouTube videos about quick meals, easy meals, cheap meals, meals on a budget. You're going to save more money so you can be able to buy those luxury items that you want. You'll be able to take that trip that you want. You'd be surprised how much 
food is taking up money in your budget. You'd be surprised. Junk food is expensive. Junk food is expensive. Okay? So work on that. Work on that. Work on cooking. Because I'm going to do a video on luxury and what to do, what to look for. I'm so excited about it. Um, okay, so that's that. Last but not least. Last but not least. It's either eight or nine. I'm not sure. Last but not, le not least. Let me tell you this. And I mean this with every fiber of my being. Talk to people you love daily. Talk to someone who really loves you and that you love daily. Because it's something about speaking with someone who really loves you. They're going to support you in ways and pour back into you in ways that you may not even know that you need. So talk to someone who you love every day, daily, send a text. Um, something like that, but try to connect with someone who really cares about you daily, okay? Because there's a lot of fake and phonies out here. <laughs> it's a lot of fake and phonies out here. So do that, y'all. That's all I got, y'all. Um, check in with people too. You never know what people are going through, especially the strong, a strong folk. We tend to keep it moving, but that don't mean we hurt. We not hurting. All right, y'all. Look, look out for one another. I love you dearly. Thank you so much for watching. Watching. I hope this has helped you. Please follow me on Instagram at the Shayl, where I'll be getting you, reminding you about daily things, and I'll tell you some more daily things that I do as well. Because this was just a short list and the attitude that you need to have an attitude of gratitude all right y'all it brings me into my spiel i hope this message inspired you i hope this message finds you blessed don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you all in my next video